Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and thank you for being here for this ACT tutorial on how to create a drop-down list. Well, in our last tutorial we worked on creating a field for our fictitious ice cream business and the field we put in was called favorite ice cream. Now people can have all kinds of different favorite ice creams obviously so because of that you might want to think well they might have strawberry, vanilla, hey French vanilla, you know maybe uh, pistachio, whatever it might be. Now pistachio is a tricky word to spell so just using that word as an example let's say you're sharing your ACT database with a bunch of people and pistachio is one of the flavors you know people might type in. Well what I would suggest you do is create a drop-down list and make sure that the items in that drop-down list are locked. In other words, make the drop-down list available to people, but make sure that it is something that they can only use the items on that list. And what that does for you is it controls the information. It controls things like not adding misspellings or some unusual flavor because it's going to be something that if you can control that I think you're going to find your data entry is cleaner and if you go to look up all the people that like vanilla for example well you want to make sure no one misspells vanilla because those people are going to drop through the cracks so managing drop-down lists can be very important so let me show you how to do that first I've created this field already so I'm going to go in and click on tools I'm going to go to define fields the same place we went to create a field but over here on the left hand side it says manage drop down list and I'm going to click on that and in the drop down list what we can do is we can create a new drop down list <coughs> excuse me I'm going to call it favorite ice cream and I'm going to call it the same thing as that field now even though we've created this field we can use this or this drop down list we can use it in multiple places we're going to have a character and one of the things I recommend is these options down here is it says allow users to edit items on the list and also automatically add new items to the users list I recommend strongly that you uncheck both of those and then click next at this point I'm gonna click on add and I'm gonna type in vanilla I'm gonna click add again I'm gonna type in chocolate okay, oops. I'm going to add another one. Let's just do one more and I'm going to do strawberry. Now after I finish this drop down list I'm going to click finish and there's one other step we've got to do. We've now created a drop down list called favorite ice cream but now I'm going to click on the home tab and it takes us back here. Remember how before we created a new field called favorite ice cream? We also have a drop down list called favorite ice cream. Well what I need to do is to apply that drop-down list to this field I need to go back and I need to edit this field so I'm gonna click on edit field I'm gonna edit the favorite ice cream field and remember that because I was literally in that field my cursor was in that field so it took me right to that I'm gonna click on use drop-down list I'm gonna click on this drop-down list I'm gonna scroll down and now click on favorite ice cream and I'm gonna click finish I don't need to do anything else well actually I could generate a history so if it changes I have a record of it but I'm just gonna click on finish at this point I'm gonna click on close now what it did is it refreshed the screen and now I have a drop-down list chocolate strawberry or vanilla now sometimes people have multiple choices that they want to make and there are ways to put multiple choices in here but I strongly recommend that when you're creating a field you set it up so that there's only one option and if you really think there are going to be multiple options available like maybe it's not just favorite ice cream but types of ice cream that they like where they could have multiple ice creams that they like then I would do it different I would do it with something called a checkbox and I will do a tutorial on checkboxes in the not too distant future ladies and gentlemen that's how you create a drop down list that's how you apply it to a field and now you're good to go. My name is Tony Olowitz. Have a great day. Thank you.